Hello everyone. So when you manage to struggle through my videos, you should be able to de design something like this. I did a video on this a phone holder. You can just put a rubber band around here and it will clamp down your phone and you can attach it to a tripod or whatnot. And if you have a 3D printer or you know someone with a 3D printer, you can build this. Instead of buying, because right now, well, most of the local stores here are closed, so you need to buy online, pay shipping costs, well, I don't think so. And maybe you could design something even better than this. And then you could post it on Thingiverse. And this is uh, kind of like heaven for 3D printing. A lot of I interesting things out here. I also, also posted my clamp here, as well as GrabCut. That's one of my favorite websites. They, it, it's more of a technical nature here, but very interesting. Of course, I will post links in the description. And my next video will be, well, making a tripod, I guess because I still have some heater pipes lying around doing nothing so I could just make 3D print for that and build a uh, tripod and that might be interesting as well but before I do I need to introduce you to an another tool which is the screw tool yeah so let's get started I'll just scale to zero and uh, let's just make let me just extrude a bit something like this and uh, let's move it out here for instance and that's now let's move to the screw tool which is in the edge menu you can press ctrl e if you'd like and here it is screw well i'm going to assign a shortcut to it assign shortcut which is going to be shift alt r and if i press shift alt r what happens is it's making one revolution around the cursor in the z-axis and this will uh, in one revolution will move up to here so top will be conne connected to bottom so I could just continue and I can say for instance uh, like the magic 24 for instance to, to smooth it out let's make it four turns or five and let's take a look and now I made a lead screw so what else can you do with this thing well let's scale to zero once again and in uh, a layout workspace I have this button that says auto merge vertices so if I scale to zero I have one vertex left here one little dot G and now press alt R to uh, spin that's a bit much let's make it four steps Alt R, extrude. Now, duplicate, I'm just going to move it over here. And screw tool, I could just select these X delete faces. And this one, I just mirror. Move it over here as well. Screw tool x delete these faces and here we have here we go we have a spring and now these are not connected just yet so i'm just going to select all press g for a moment let these vertices merge normal shift n and we've got a spring now what else well let me just move back what if i just uh move this a little bit like so what happens then well I think you can guess I'll just duplicate this for a moment shift alt R well you have a tapered spring I'm just gonna mirror this part move it over here shift alt R select everything press G just to merge vertices I'm gonna select these delete faces and we've got a tapered spring so you could, could also make a tapered screw not something like this for instance and uh, press G now it's all merged let's just uh, make it a solid for a moment I'm just gonna snap my cursor here snap my cursor here Fix this. Let's 
just fix this for a moment, like that. Let's do the same below. Fix this area. Now I can cut out. I'm just going to shift and normals. Cut out some area here. Extrude. G. A bit lower maybe. I don't know. Extrude. Extrude. Cut this area out. As well as uh, over here somewhere. Now let's uh, add a cylinder here. Alt R. Let's make that 24. So that's 6 G. Scale. Shift normals fix. Ctrl F. Intersect boolean. So there's a hole in here now. Now I could create another ring that goes around it, which has this tapered thread inside as well. And then, scale to mm, select this. Snap my cursor here. Let's R spin and then say four repeats, duplicates over 360 degrees, and cut this out. Ctrl F. So now you've got these uh, bridges in here. Now you could just uh, create the same ring with the same type of, of tapered thread inside screw that on and as the farther you screw it on the further these parts here squeeze together and if you have uh, some some sort of piping inside some sort of tubing or something uh, yeah it would clamp down on the tubing and that's uh, that's gonna be my next video I guess well I have made something similar online actually uh, on Thingiverse it's free to download and this was a fix for a uh, clothesline a rotary clothesline or a umbrella clothesline I don't know how to call it but yeah you could use this for the sunscreen as well or something just move to the hardware store get some parts get this printed and uh, you're on your way but I do have to say this is a uh, an old design I think I'm gonna update it a bit because I'm not really content with it just yet for instance, this bracket in between, this support, is a bit small. I, th I think I'm going to make it a bit bigger because I fear that this might break off. It's pretty sturdy though, if you use uh, PDG for a print or uh, ASA or something. And then uh, there's the threads here. It's, uh, I think my previous version that I made on this tutorial is a little bit better, so I'm going to have to change that too. Yeah, and maybe some additional parts. So next up will be a tripod, so keep up to date, like, subscribe, you know the drill, and I'll see you all later.